Zimbabwe has made significant strides in wildlife conservation through collaborations and partnerships. This has been made possible through efforts such as the Transfrontier Conservation Plan. The plan is an initiative for managing shared natural resources. Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority Director General Dr. Fulton Mangwanya said this during an awareness event on the new SADAC TFCA program 2023 to 2033, another natural resource and tourism framework. The SADAC protocol and other frameworks provide us with a unique opportunity to promote integrated management of our shared resources, enhance a holistic government approach foster regional cooperation and economic development. As a country, we have witnessed the power of collaboration and we can share that if we work together, we can safeguard the pre and preserve our diverse biodiversity, advocate for sustainable land use and natural resource management practices. SADAC Natural Resources Management Advisor Rapson Lodlo said the program will ensure an increase in tourism in the region. And the idea was to try and showcase TFCAs as premier tourist destinations um, within the SADAC region. Meanwhile, Zimbabwe is spending over five million US dollars annually to provide training, awareness campaigns, and management of the wildlife movement to locals. We've always been saying conservation is expensive. For example, we need about six, seven million every year to do our law enforcement, um, 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 anti-poaching patrols, our rangers, refresher calls, and a lot of activities that we do. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Bazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.